as you're aware, we're all here to experience life. We're here to learn. And the sole experience we learn from, it's how we grow and deal with them. And for me, having been clear of chronic pain, having the sole experience of a near death, being able to spiritually work and continue from the heart in what I'm doing to reach others, that's amplified my learnings, it's amplified and, and helped other people on their path, whether it be spiritually, whether it be clearing chronic pain, uh, or any emotional or physical problem. Um, but yes, the <clears throat> people's consensus of energy has to be, people have to be more aware of what it is and what it can be. There's so many different elements to energy than, than we perceive. And our, our, our warning system or our, our internal um, information notification system, of course, that there is a, a potentially dangerous or destabilizing buildup of energy is this thing that you've mentioned several times, pain. I yes. remember um, years ago as a, as a teenager um, going to this yoga class and mm. uh, by pure fluke I had this amazing um, teacher who trained with Iyengar, you know, who was the yes. one of the great sort of gurus of yoga who brought yoga into the West. And um, she was real old school, you know, not uncompromising. Mm -hmm. you, know, you, you stood there on one leg, you know, scratching your ear <laughs> with your, your right t big toe for five minutes, <laughs> no matter what. <laughs> and she had this mantra going all the time, you know. She would just keep saying, pain is your teacher, pain yes. is your teacher. Relax into the pain, pain is your teacher. And, of course, so much of modern medicine now is... is, is dedicated to trying to eliminate pain or, or, or to suppress it, you exactly. know, either by cutting out the offending piece of us or by um, putting chemicals into the system that mask the message, that stop the message getting through to our receptors. I mean, I'm just thinking in your case, had, you know, had medicine succeeded in getting rid of your chronic pain syndrome, perhaps none of this would have happened. Um, there is no cure for the, the chronic pain condition that I have. There is um, medications that can reduce it. Um, but no, if I'd not received or had the disability and the wonderful learning from it, because I'm now pain free, I'm living a wonderful holistic life here in Spain with my two children and doing some wonderful work um, for the greater good, I wouldn't be here now on this radio show talking to you. Very honoured to do that. And I wouldn't be able to raise awareness in the wonderful work that we're all trying to do in the way that different approaches to health are needed now. Um, to assist other people in freeing themselves from what you say is pain and the, the receptors that are within us, whether it be mind, whether it be emotions, thoughts or feelings that we hold on. Do you think it's true that ultimately, I mean we experience pain in a very physical way but given what you've been through and what you've seen your clients and others experience, do you think it's true to say that pain is ultimately energy? Yes, I do feel it's energy. Mm. I also and and therefore can be released Yes, uh, yes. by non-physical means. Yes, I do, definitely. Um, I see a number of clients who have been diagnosed with either chronic pain or they've had symptoms, as you're aware, with, with the work that we do. It can relate to a past life injury, a past life trauma, a current life trauma even, and they're holding on to the emotions. And for me, a lot of the work now, it's about clearing the emotions and healing the hurt within that way. And that's the key, really, to mm. get into the core of the, the issues and the learnings that our souls are wanting to grow from. The em emotional pain that is unattended to eventually becomes a physical pain that, yes. we, that we just cannot ignore. It becomes so debilitating that we, yes. we have to pay attention. Yeah. I guess the trick is to get there sooner rather than later. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. I think a lot of us who ended up as therapists definitely were, were slow learners. <laughs> yeah, we can be, but it, it's wonderful in a way because we all have soul wounds that we need to heal. And in, that empowers us to assist other people because of our soul experiences. Yes. Is, um, you, you mentioned um, the, the person that you, you trained with, um, Andy Tomlinson. He's also connected to Brian, Brian Weiss, Weiss, who yes, of course I'm is like the, 
you know. It's one of the pioneers, yes, of uh, pioneers. Life Between Life. Um, like most of us, he had a psychotherapy background, um, went into hypnotherapy, and quite by chance, I don't know if you've read one of his books, one of his patients just went into a uh, past life. And as we know, it does get to the deep core issues that a lot of us are carrying to, to clear. So, yes. Um, I trained alongside Andy Tomlinson, um, who, and they do training courses worldwide, yes. What would you say to people who, who believe or think that um, there's no such thing, that you know, we're, ju we're just here once, that's it, when you die, that's it, it's all over, and that this whole notion that we've lived lives beforehand, that we've reincarnated many, many, many times is just a fantasy? What would you, what would you say to that? I feel the clients that I see, Richard, they are aware and ready for that knowledge to come through. Um, the veil of amnesia, if I can call it that, is being lifted. Um, so people are becoming more and more aware of past lives, but it's only in the therapeutic value that they need to know it. Yeah, it's, it's practical. personalised. Yeah, um, all my therapy is personalised for the client. So one client may need to perhaps go into some current life memory that they've had from a child. Another client may need to go into a past life. Um, it's personalised for them. I have clients that come in, for instance, to lose weight through hypnotherapy. Before I even begin to do the work, I have to work really on the emotional problem, as you know, that's caused the weight in the first place. So I work on many different levels personalised for the client. For the clients that have never experienced past life and are quite sceptical, um, give it a try. I offer a free consultation for them to experience perhaps a mini taster. Um, a lot of it comes through in dreams, deja vu, thoughts, places that we feel we've been before. So mm. quite often the awareness comes naturally to clients. Uh, one of my teachers once <laughs> coined the phrase, um, this is the life you've been dying to get to. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like that a lot. <laughs> um, the point being that whatever we haven't resolved, you know, whatever we've carried forward, it's going to show up in some shape or form yes. in, in this life. But being able to get back to it sort of at, at its roots or its source gives us a, a, an extra kind of leverage, I suppose. It does. It? It, mm. yeah, I find it that emotionally, mentally, physically and spiritually, everything gets healed very quickly within. Yes. Yes. Okay, we're going to t go to another commercial break. When we come back, uh, I want to talk about uh, the the life between lives. If you be a part of the Global Expat Network, join the millions of people using AngloInfo.com every day. AngloInfo has a truly global reach with a local focus, working within each community to provide information and support through a directory of thousands of local English-speaking businesses, as well as clear, concise, and detailed information pages. Free local classifieds, discussions, news, weather, a what's on guide, and much, much more. All the information you need. AngloInfo.com Do you have an upcoming or regular need for euros or foreign currency? Are you planning to emigrate, buy, or sell a property? Capital IFX are here to help. We provide a commission-free bank-to-bank transfer service. Capital IFX will save you money by guaranteeing to beat your bank's exchange rate and help you guard against market volatility with different contract options. For more information, call Capital IFX on plus 44-203-301-5988. Or for a live quote, click on the Capital IFX banner on the talkradioeurope.net website. Other of the, um, the, the, the teachers and, and pioneers in the field that uh, you were involved in, uh, a man called Michael Newton, who uh, I came across a few years ago, who wrote an extremely interesting book. Uh, I think it was called The Soul's Journey. And uh, if I remember correctly, what happened was that he was a past life regression therapist. And during a session, at some point, his client, just uh, not through any intention on his part, his client found themselves in that space between lifetimes and um, he was so fascinated and um, it was like he'd stumbled on a whole new world and so then he began to intentionally regress people to that place and, and he's written a whole book about it about what happens to our our spirit our soul that that part of us that uh, that endures 
um, for, between the end of one incarnation and the beginning of another. What normally happens with the life between life, we kind of call it the cream of the crop because you most call it, clients, I'm sorry, you call the it cream of the crop. The um, cr and cream what, of the crop, yeah. okay. And what that means is you have to really understand and have cleared an awful lot of your past lives and many of your past lives before you can even begin to go into a life between life. Um, <clears throat> for many of my clients, when they've gone into the spiritual realm anyway for whatever level of healing that they need, forgiveness on the spiritual realm, they quite often will get insights from their ascended masters or their spirit guides, which will help them in their current life now. And what was happening was, even with myself, as clients were clearing their past lives and going into their current life memories, I was able, through hypnotherapy or through deep um, hypnosis, able to take them into a life between life where they were able to see all of their past lives what their learnings were what their themes were and then they were able to meet with fellow soul groups on the spiritual realm and get wonderful healing and guidance about their and make plans for their life, their next life plan and journey you mentioned soul groups would you like to uh, just expand a little on what they are from my experience in the work that I've done um, with my clients and obviously the work that Andy Tomlinson, Michael Newton, Brian Weiss, all the pioneers in regression therapy have worked through, we do have soul groups. And these are souls that are of a similar vibration, that are working through the similar, same similar themes in the life. And they reincarnate back in the same life to work and link on a theme for the greater good. I think it's worth... Uh, pointing out that that doesn't always um, look as sort of jolly and cooperative no, as it sounds. That um, uh, that sometimes part of that agreement is that we we show up in each other's lives to actually um, almost poke our finger into the wound to, to to or to create the wound or to reopen the wound until that uh, that soul has um, fully understood on all levels and heal it. So from a, a, a kind of a three-dimensional point of view, that wouldn't really look like, well, this is a soul, you know, that, that would look like the enemy, like some, you know, <laughs> so the, our worst nightmare. And yet there's a deeper level to all that, isn't it? That, there is. That at that level of soul group, we really are in service to each other. We are in service to each other and there's also many, many links either energetically, intuitively and what happens with these soul groups, we do reincarnate and we have soul contracts. This, it, what's important to note is these soul contracts can actually change and there is soul free will involved but quite often one of the, it can be a perpetrator from a past life that is actually our loved one in this life, as we know. And once we see it at a multidimensional level... And they well, torment us that way. Yeah, they do <laughs> torment, poke us, you've not learned, so you're going to learn again, mm. and you will get it in this life. And then it's not until you have that awareness, it's like a aha moment when you realise that we are all equal. We're working on similar themes, and there's forgiveness on many, many different levels. You say there is forgiveness... In my experience, um, forgiveness doesn't necessarily just uh, show up, you no, know, un 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 <laughs> <laughs> uninvited. It, it's again, it's it's really the sort of end result, isn't it, of a whole it is. process? It is. It's after a deep process of deep therapy with uh, current life therapy work, regression therapy work. But once you get to the vibrational level of a higher level of understanding with the life between life where you're seeing other people understanding what they've taught you in this life, it's empowering. It's absolutely empowering because you realise they've actually given you strengths and gifts that you, you wouldn't have had. So, yeah, it's, it's inspirational for clients, yes. What about the, um, the life review that, that we come across so much in the, the near-death experience literature? With what, our elders, what? yes. When we're reviewing all our lives and we're finding out so much as to why we pick the lives, why we perhaps pick the parents we've chosen in this life, the physical body we've chosen and the learnings. For many of my clients, it's profound. It's learning um, to love our parents for the souls 
and to love people for the souls that they are as opposed to how they show in the physical body. You, uh, you mentioned in passing there the idea that we possibly pick our parents that